wonder if Prue's out here somewhere. Or if she found a way out. Someone said, what the hell? And then they just started running. I've always sort of liked the night. Quiet. Aside from the occasional scream. How do I change up my melee weapon? Or do I even have another one? Uh, oh, it'd be here. Yeah, I've got some branches. Is that an empty, like, health bar on them? It's awfully dark. I feel like that's probably empty. Not very durable. Yeah, no, that's not worth using. I just don't want to break this shovel because then I can't dig up things, you know? It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Now entering Edenham. Edenham. So it's got that pretty standard stealth system. You make more noise if you're going fast. Or if you jump or something like that. You can be seen if you're in brighter light. Blend in more if you're in darker stuff. That sort of thing. <laughs> Somebody put a road cone on that statue's head. Arthur Wellesley, first Duke of Wellington. Someone scratched in. Wells. Hmm. Something I just realized. Whoa. Oh, it's a cutscene. Uh oh. Uh. Hello? Anyone out there? Christ, oh boy. Are you a tourist? You dress like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! You wanna get thrashed? Come in! Come in! God, you're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Well, that's outrageous! Your funeral? But well, they literally well, wanted so my angry. socks. Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy. And it like flips a switch, and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! <laughs> I love the voice acting. Craft a torn suit. All right. Fit in with those awful wastrels. Upset decent folk, obviously. Where to conform in the garden district. Yeah, so this game has a lot of survival aspects. Uh, it also has a, something that reminds me of Hitman. Is really the only game I can think of that like extensively used a what you wear decides who likes or doesn't like you. Kind of a permission system by way of what you're wearing. This game has a lot going on. Torn suit can be crafted with a proper suit and a rock. Fair enough. So, now that I've done that, I should probably make another proper suit, right? That way I can flip between the two. You can see the stats of both of these things are zero armor, and they both have high visibility and pretty bad noise. Yeah, they're just... They're not tactical in any way. And we're wearing the torn one. was Percy, I'd just go promenading about wondering why everyone was staring. 
I never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Use your pockets to carry more things. Increases weight limits slightly. Where does that go? Wait, where did that go? Do I have two of those? It seems to just go... I don't know, into the void. I think it's just a permanent upgrade to your storage space. Gives me two extra pounds. Yeah. I don't think my suit is decent anymore. I could wear it around the garden district, but proper folk will have me pegged for a wastrel. So if I if I go outside, are they gonna realize that I'm still the same person? But they're gonna be like, "Oh, you changed your clothes. Yeah, you're all right." Past your bedtime. At least we have our memories, right? Don't go opening people's boxes just because they're not looking, right? Sure, totally. So, is that safe to take? Is it gonna warn me if something's considered stealing? Let's make a save just in... Oh, I can't save. After dark, love. Best stay out of sight. Hey, is this considered a... Oh, it's a workbench. I thought it might be considered a uh, shelter. Seems to have a lot of amenities. Oh, wait, workbench. Oh, maybe that's how you craft more stuff. You can only craft simple stuff in your inventory. You need real tools to craft more complicated things. That would make sense. I lied for you today at 4.15. That's not good, Percy. You're rubbish at lying. I was a good liar today. Who did you lie to? Mrs. Boyle. Mrs. Boyle came here? Her face was all red, and and her voice was like mom when she's angry. And I thought that you would ask me why she's angry. Why was she angry? I decided that she was angry, but I decided that she was angry because you were up in the tree next to Sally Boyle's bedroom window last night at 8.15 p.m. Oh, bloody hell. What exactly did he say? I told her that I was in the tree. Oh, Percy, that's very bad. No, Arthur, it's brilliant. Why is it brilliant? She won't make me be in trouble, because I'm slow. You didn't have to do that. She told me not to do it again, so I promised I wouldn't. Thank you. I love you, Arthur. I love you too. Arthur and Percival seemed like they were really close. Ooh. We're safe. I suppose if there's something valuable in this house, it ought to be in here. Of course, disposable safe cracker. Oh, I can't carry any more rocks. Carrying too many. I'm gonna save the crafting bench for last. Keep the lights on. Reduce the consumption rate of powered items by a small amount. You've picked up a book. Back in 1964, people read books to learn how to do things better. You should read all the books you can find in Wellington Wells. Locked. Aha, but I remember how to make a lockpick. Yeah, this isn't going to bother you if I lockpick this, is it? Oh, they seem pretty cool. Oh, disposable safe cracker. Oh, sweet. Pick Jimmy Bar, Dark Times Five. Is that it? Or is there a way up there? Ah, there is. Oh, 
That's it. Okay, what can we make? Oh. We really can't make anything more than normal? It must be based on level or something like that, or maybe you find recipes. But then what's the point of a workbench, if you can just craft it all in your inventory? Am I missing something? Let's make some more healing balm. Apparently my health isn't great. How did I get hurt? Guess I'll leave now. Hope the mom doesn't kill me. Goodbye. At least there are flowers out here. It's best not to fight if you can help it. Shove them away and just run as fast as you can. Okay, thanks. I suppose he's just another rotten downer like us. NPCs have status indicators over their head. The white outline fill represents awareness. As it goes up, NPCs become more aware of you. The red outline represents suspicion. Once completely filled, NPCs become hostile. NPC health is displayed as the filled triangle inside the indicator. Okay. Be aware that some actions cause instant aggression, like trespassing or stealing. Okay, I don't see any indicators on them, so I think we're just like totally fine. Have you been sleeping all right? If you find fresh food, don't try to hoard it. The blight turns things rotten sooner than you think. Oh. So all this stuff is going to rot? The rowan berry and the blue current? The blue current raises maximum stamina for a very brief time. This. Increases maximum stamina for a moderate time. Using crafting various cures, including a powerful healing balm. Hmm. How are you holding up? Clothes make the man, don't they? No one likes a naked person. Some people do. Been a while, hasn't it? Well, well. There's more of us every day. <laughs> it could be worse. I think. Stay away from the ones with the plague. It's a terrible way to die. I haven't seen anybody with the plague yet. <laughs> well, nothing lasts forever. Does it? Don't go out in people's boxes just because they're not looking, alright? I guess there's no point in just talking to random people, really. I wonder how I know if a person is important, you know? At least we're alive. Right? It's strange. If you enter an area you aren't supposed to be in, people will be cross. Violent, even. Oh, I'm trespassing just by being in there. Okay. That's where I came from. Didn't we go to school together? Miss Bing's class. Getting enough sleep? It's important to sleep. Wow, they were eating soup and talking at the same time. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. I really feel like once we find the outside world, we're going to find out that there is no outside world anymore. Is this considered stealing? No, we're good. I assume if we're not trespassing, it's not considered stealing. Right? It seems reasonable. Also, I think that's a better quality shovel. Rusty shovel versus shovel. 
required for digging also deals moderate damage against multiple opponents. Chance to stun heavy. Not durable. Heavy. So I think the main difference is just that it, the rusty one is prone to breaking really easily, and this one is not. Oh, actually, this one does a lot more damage if you look at the stat here. Whoops. Way more damage. Ooh, look at those things that I couldn't pick before. I think they're luminescent. And it's raining. I've never seen it rain before. I don't think there's much to do here, is there? I think this is the end of it. So dark. <sighs> yeah, that's the razor wire I try to jump up to. Can I leave by this way? I can. So is that it? Seems like it. Let's look at the legend. Point of interest, this place. Crafting table. Abandoned houses. Yeah, alright, I think that's it for now. Let's, uh, actually, let's go back to the soup person and jump over there, because I want to go for those flowers. Uh, oh, this way. Save a bit for the next minute. Oh god, don't break my legs. Oh. Yeah, look at them. Oh, that's so pretty. recipes, do I? Mm -mm. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. Let's continue with the main quest. Anxious to get back home to the village. Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> you won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Nowhere I could mug a bobby? Ho <laughs> ho You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back from me, I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war, I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny, they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier sharp wit. No. We're gonna have to use a club to defeat him. <laughs> I did play that far. I got a little bit into the head boy camp. And then I quit. Right after I got my first skill point, actually. Oh, listen to that. Listen to the sound of the rain between outside and inside. That's lovely. Yeah, 
I don't have any key card or power cell, so I can't do anything here. Caltrops? What am I going to make with those? Those are the little spiky things, isn't it? Oh god. Oh wow. That was unwise. So this is the head boy king. Alive. It's a bloody fortress. They look pretty well buttoned up. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood. Or find a cleverer way in. Going in the back way. Look at all those little floating particles in the beam of light. get in here. What was that? I feel like I shouldn't be running indoors like this because it makes it hard to just even see what's going on. Because the movement speed is so fast. Like I feel like this is a lot more pleasant. A lot easier to take in the environment. I guess I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Germany did indeed occupy this place. That's the Iron Cross. Fred? A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I can write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. So we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. It's telling me about how to track quests. Headboy rules for Little George's initiation. He has to win an arena fight with a tourist. No fair fighting wastrel weaklings. Fresh meat only. Sneak into a village and steal a bobby hat. Clean my leather jacket and stop being a dull wanker. Of course you know me! You got me sacked from the old current! 
Oh, uh, yeah. I, I don't remember that. I, I, I don't work there anymore. You thought one of my articles was insufficiently original. Danny Defoe. You, you've lost a bit of weight. To be fair, you did copy my piece line by line. Who gives a shit, Hastings? A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, change your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, some guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. So this seems to be where they dump both the winners and the losers. Oh no, it's stealing to take these things. Oops. This 
some sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. Ah, there we go. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. So this is where we get our first skill point. Completing quests will give you skill points. And then it has us spend our first one on one particular thing. So this is where I stopped playing. I got the skill point. I took out this person using the sweet dreams. Basically take them out from behind without hurting them. And then I stopped. So I haven't left this room in my other playthrough. There we go. I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Yeah, let's leave them face down in their own piss. This won't take a minute. Maybe just a little... Yeah, the... Uh... Hold on, that's not in the piss enough, is it? Still not in the piss enough. Oh! Don't eat that. Did I eat that? I don't think I did. There we go. Yeah. Stinky. Stinky boy. I'm not gonna drink this water, it's nasty. You know, I should actually probably, in reality, put this body somewhere where people might not see it. Other people might come into the bathroom. I can't crouch, unfortunately, but I can do this. Perfect. No one will know. Oh, yeah. If it's considered trespassing what you're stealing, or if it's considered to be stealing what you're getting, it's just, it shows it to be red. Search rubbish bin is red. Of course, for these people, I don't give a shit. Oh, I can lock it and unlock it. Interesting. Press left control to sneak. When sneaking, your visibility is lowered. You make less noise. You can also see the footsteps of nearby enemies, even through walls. Try sneaking past the hooligan in this room. Oh yeah. Yeah, I see the footstep. Interesting. That's an interesting way to solve the problem of, if you're sneaking around, how do you know where the enemy is? Like, how can you see the enemy without the enemy seeing you? I've never seen that sort of a solution. probably actually follow behind them, shouldn't I? Oh, look, even this crate. It's got the Iron Cross and whatever the eagle is called on it. Let's call it the German army symbol. I don't think I should use the TV right now. <laughs> Requires lockpick. Oh, right, I don't have my stuff back. I should probably just go. Quick slots fill automatically from our inventory display in the lower right corner. Uh huh. One is healing items, then food, tools, drugs. Easier to move among your enemies if they're looking somewhere else. Take like, something like a bottle. Aim and release it so they'll investigate it. Make a distraction. Okay. There's even one here for me. Oh, a bunch here. I have 11 bottles, apparently. So they're just sitting down, but I still need them to look another way, huh? Well, the other one's moving.
So the other one didn't hear it. And I wonder how long that one is going to be distracted for. How long do I have? May stay there for a while. Good 10 seconds or so. Damn, they don't have much of a range on the bottles, do they? Probably need to get up to that door, huh? my footsteps, but but now they heard that, so we're good. I want to go in here just to see what I can loot. Who did that? There we go. Do they hear? Do they just hear me doing that? There we go. I can find a power cell right there. Motley, pure resublimated dimotely. The fuel of the future. Now. Oh, that's what the power cells are. Or that stuff. <laughs> Look at how they've tried to keep this from leaking and tacked wood everywhere. Ooh, I could get up there. I could. I think that red symbol means I could throw it at them to hurt them. That wouldn't be wise. Oh, there's the metals down there. What else can I hold? I've got 15. Well, I guess I can go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Yeah, got the medals, got the power cell. Now I just need to get out, huh? I suppose I want to take them out. Right? So I have free reign of the place? Oh, it's very bright here. I don't think I want to be there. Oh, that's probably the exit right there. That lever. That would probably be loud. I think I need to take him out. If I fall down, it's going to be loud. Let's get them both distracted over there. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, so I don't think they heard that. Let's take a healing bomb. Get back up to full health. Be like that. Uh -huh. You hear that? Yes. Please don't make a fuss. Okay. Hide them back here. Oh. 
They kind of saw me a little bit, but that's fine. Look the other way. It's nothing personal. You know, you can go back in your chair. Alright, I guess they're tired of sitting. Oh, that's the exit. Well, hold on, there's gotta be some other loot around here. How is my inventory, by the way? I'm only at 19 out of 106 pounds. That's extraordinary. Oh, I can't open this at all? That's 19 glass bottles. Oh, I didn't loot them, did I? They never seem to have anything on them. Oh, there's a lockpick. I can hide no in the trash bin. Hide. Well, but I could stay here forever. At least until I starve to death. <laughs> That's 21 bottles now. So it limits how many rocks I can carry, but not bottles. I guess that's it, huh? Oh. What just happened? I have no idea what just happened. That did not- that door did not go where I thought it did? I thought it went back to a place I'd already been? Apparently not. So hold on, I haven't- oh, I've been up here, not over there. So that's the exit, so what the heck's up here? Oh, right. Right, right, this is where I came from. I just, uh, the tutorial wanted me to sneak past this person. Okay, well, taking him out now. Play with Jack. It's all fun and if he's your chemist today, he'll chase off those blahs. Disposable safe cracker. Arthur Stash, that's my oh, stuff. That's everything I had when they jumped me. Get your stuff back optional. Can you imagine not getting your stuff back? That'd be horrible. Oh, with all my stuff back, I'm at 80 pounds. Okay. Yeah, that's more reasonable. Because I've been picking up so much stuff. 